we're working with uh, perovskite photovoltaics, which are third generation solar cells. Uh, now these are quite well studied at the moment and uh, producing very high efficiencies. But they also have the promise of being solution processable. So that means essentially that we can print them. But one of the, the problems that have been encountered is that once they're printed, they have to be cut up and an expensive and slow process used for electrodes onto the, the devices. So what we are now doing is we've developed a carbon ink that is compatible with these new type of solar cells and we can now print that onto the devices in a roll-to-roll -roll process. So we can fully coat these new solar cells from start to finish. So we end up with uh, fully coated devices in a, in a relatively quick and cheap manner. One of the challenges that exists though is how do you build up the layers within a solar cell? So in this solar cell, there are many different layers and they're all very, very small. And so to get these layers on top of each other is very challenging. What hasn't happened before is that nobody's been able to build all of these layers in one go using one, one piece of continuous manufacturing equipment until now. So in Swansea, what we've been able to demonstrate is that we can very carefully take one layer and build it on top of the other in a very sensitive way until we get to the top stack. And once we finish that, we have a solar cell that works. What that means is that we're very close to a pre-industrial manufacturing method that allows us to basically take ink in at the front end of the process and have a solar cell come out at the end. And that is a really important method for being able to manufacture a huge amount of solar cells in one go. I think it was to mention that in our current devices we use um, PDOT, which is an interlayer between carbon and perovskite, compatible with both layers and it is kind of helpful for our PV performance and also PV performance improvement and also the stability. So the layer is hydrophobic, which means that it prohibits the perovskite to absorb the water. So we used this not only because it was hydrophobic, but also because it was compatible with our perovskite system and carbon. The, the impact is really in, in uh, proving that perovskites have the, uh, can reach the potential that is expected of them. So, so for a few years now, the efficiency of the devices has been increasing and the expectation is that they could be fully printed. This work has proved that. So this is now a, a platform we can use for, for a lot of the development we'd like to achieve. So having this fully roll-to-roll, uh, -roll, entirely roll-to-roll -roll coated device stack, we can now add in extra layers, so new interlayers that will improve device efficiency, new formulations of perovskite materials that will improve device efficiency, and be able to also move into producing modules, which is more like the sort of devices you would see on a rooftop. The next stage for us is to start making something that really looks like a solar cell that you could put on your building and then what we'll do then is we'll put it on a building and we'll measure it and we'll understand how far we are away from really delivering on the promise of uh, UK-based manufacturing of green renewables.